with minimal starts, Tyler Huntley has quickly established himself as possibly one of the top young quarterbacks in the NFL. With his contract coming up this offseason, he's quickly playing himself in a possible area where he could get paid by an NFL organization. So today, I want to dive into his tape, really analyze what he did well over this past weekend, what he can improve on, and where his ceiling is at as a quarterback. So without further ado, let's jump into the film breakdown and analyze can Tyler Huntley be a franchise quarterback. Taking a look at this first play now, I want to highlight probably one of the most important traits of a franchise quarterback, and that's the ability to throw with touch and accuracy. So first, defensively, we're going to see the Packers dropping into a cover one rat look here. And offensively, the Ravens are going to be dialing up one of their favorite concepts, the Y cross here. And, and at the snap of the ball, I really am going to want to focus on the rat defender for the Packers here. He's not going to open up to carry this over route. He's going to stay back, and it's going to put the safety in a bad position. Mark Andrews is going to beat him across the field, allowing this open window to come free right in front of him here. Now, this looks like an easy throw until we look at the first level of defenders here and this linebacker that's playing right underneath of the crossing route. This is where Tyler Huntley's going to have to have the ability to throw with touch to get over top of that first level defender, but place it right out in front of Mark Andrews. Let's let the play roll. Tyler Huntley does this perfectly. He throws with touch. He throws with accuracy. Hits his receiver on the run, picking him an extra five, six yards here. I'll the play roll from the top one more time, but like I said, we see the rat defender not carrying the crosser, putting the defense in a bad position, and Tyler Huntley beats him with a perfect throw here to get over top of the first level of defenders and place it out in front of his tight end to let him run after the catch. So now as we jump into this next play, we're going to just take the next step up the podium. We've seen the touch and accuracy, which checks the baseline. Now we're going to look at the ability to execute the quick passing game, the ability to quickly read the first level of defenders and get the ball out of your hand fast. So we jump into this next play, like I said, we're going to see a pre-snap look defensively for the Packers of a cover four here. And offensively, the Raiders are going to be running a very simple concept here. It's going to be the spacing concept, which is all going to be designed to attack one defender here who's circled in white. If he decides to shoot out and cover the flat route here, the curl route will come right behind him and become wide open. If he decides to stay here and cover the curl route, the flat route's going to become wide open. And to the snap of the ball, like I said, he's in a lose-lose situation. He chooses the flats, which allows his curl route to come wide open right into this vacated zone. And Tyler Huntley's right on time here, delivering a strike, not allowing that safety to get in to break up the pass. I'll the play roll from the top one more time, but the key here is, look, he's going to get to the top of his drop and the ball's coming out. He's not hesitating. He's not questioning his eyes. He trusts what he sees, and he delivers the ball on time, not allowing these quick passes to get broken up. This is what keeps the offense on schedule and helps the offense keep moving the chains. So we've seen a lot to like, but a lot of it's just the baseline of a franchise quarterback, the touch and accuracy, the ability to work effective in the quick game. So now let's flip gears and let's look at something a little bit more entertaining here, and it's the off-script playmaking. So a pre-snap here, we see the Packers, they're running a variation of cover three match here down on the goal line. Offensively, the route combination is drawn up, and at the snap of the ball, I really want to focus on the three receiver side at the bottom of the screen. We're going to see that none of these receivers are breaking on the routes yet. All of them are still covered, but Tyler Huntley is getting pressured here. He's got everybody up in his face, and instead of panicking and trying to force a throw down here on the goal line, he's going to scan. He's going to get outside of the pocket. He's going to see the defense circled in white here. They got two guys and one gap, meaning they lost containment here. So he's going to extend the play, getting depth, rolling out to the right here. And now that he's on the edge, the Packers defense is put in a bind. They're losing one of their zone defenders who has to now step up as we see circled in white to play Tyler Huntley to make sure he doesn't tuck and run this into the end zone. But now they're short one of their zone defenders here, which now Mark Andrews sees this is a scramble drill. He's breaking the route back, attacking right into this vacated zone. Tyler Huntley keeps his eyes downfield, delivering a strike to pick up the touchdown here. I'll the play roll from the top one more time, but just see how that edge pressure collapses inside, leaving the edge for Tyler Huntley to roll out where he keeps his eyes downfield, keeping the play alive and delivering a strike for a big time touchdown. So like I've said, we've seen a lot to like the quick game work, the touch, the accuracy, the off script playmaking ability to extend the plays with his legs. Now let's flip gears and now I want to talk about his ability, not as a passer, but as a runner and what he brings to the run game. So the Ravens, they're dialing up GT counter read here. This is all about reading the defensive end circled in white. If he squeezes and follows the pollers, Tyler Huntley will pull it and run through the vacated lane. But if the defensive end widens here to contain the quarterback, he's just going to hand it off to the running back where they have numbers to the front side. But as I let the play roll here, the defensive end, he's going to squeeze with the pullers here. So now Tyler Huntley's going to pull it, like I said, and have this huge vacated lane to run through. And now that Tyler Huntley's got a little bit of space, now he's able to work. He's able to show off that speed to burst through the middle of the defense here, outrunning the middle linebacker, outrunning a corner. 
I'll play roll from the top one more time, but we're going to see that DN squeeze here, giving that lane for Tyler Huntley to pull, run right through the teeth of the defense, showing off that dynamic athleticism he has, be able to show off that burst to outrun multiple defenders, picking up a nice 15-yard gain here. Overall, we've seen a lot to like from Tyler Huntley, but I do want to touch on one negative here, and the biggest thing that was glaring through his tape here was his pocket presence. Sometimes, when he felt edge pressure, he failed to step up into the pocket and make throws across the middle of the field. He often dropped his eyes down and always tried to get and expand the play outside, often running himself right into the pressure. Now, the pocket presence of Tyler Huntley is not there quite yet, but I'm not going to overanalyze it too much. He's a young quarterback. He's going to make mistakes. He might be a little bit uncomfortable in the pocket. But that's easy. That's a thing you can easily develop with time and more experience under center. Overall, though, with such a small sample size, we've seen a lot to like from Tyler Huntley. He has the arm and the baseline to be a franchise quarterback. He has the touch and accuracy. He has the ability to execute the quick game. He doesn't question his eyes. He can get to the top of the drop and get the ball out right away, throwing with good anticipation. He also, like I said, has that ability of touch and accuracy. He has the ability to have that off-script playmaking ability to expand plays outside of the pocket, keep his eyes downfield, to sling for touchdowns to Mark Andrews, for an example, in this game. On top of that, he adds another threat of another runner in the running game as we saw. He's a dynamic athlete that you can get in with schemed quarterback runs. He adds that threat that defenses have to account for, which can make them lose the number advantage in the run game for your running back. Overall, Tyler Huntley has a tremendous ceiling. We've seen how creative the Ravens have got with Lamar Jackson over the years and how explosive of a player he can be whether it's in the running game or slinging the deep balls. Overall, Tyler Huntley is the foundation to be a franchise quarterback, but if he is signed to be a guy to develop, to lead an organization, he needs to have the right supporting cast around him. He needs a group of guys that are going to be able to harness his ability as a quarterback to be that runner, to be that guy to get him outside of the pocket. He needs a creative play caller that's going to be able to maximize his potential because with this foundation, Tyler Huntley's potential is limitless. Well, that'll do it for the film breakdown. Let me know your guys' thoughts on Tyler Huntley. Do you think Greg Roman should get a head coaching position somewhere and target Tyler Huntley in free agency? Or do you think Tyler Huntley should stay and just become Lamar Jackson's career backup? Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. I love hearing from you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.